The cytosol process was originally developed as a marine oil spill response technique. And it had its origins in San Juan, Puerto Rico at a very serious spill and has had many opportunities to be tested in marine spills from Japan to here along the California coast. The approach is one in which we spray this crude oil with a biosolvent or cytosol process and then use the uh, solvent to soften and dissolve the crude oil and then follow it with a simple deluge or spray of cold seawater that floats off the oil with the mixture of the biosolvent. Randall Bonweather, quien dice ser también puertorriqueño, San Juan, Puerto Rico was the uh, historic moment in which we had our first opportunity to demonstrate the cytosol process on a real beach. We were able to demonstrate that the cytosol biosolvent could effectively dissolve and float off weathered crude oil, in this case oil that had been baked on the beaches in San Juan for up to three weeks, and we were still able to recover over 50% of that oil in a matter of minutes. The field demonstration in Point Malati involved a land spill of old fuel oil from a former whaling facility, and the old fuel oil used for their burners had spilled down through the gravel and into the beach, and had caused a serious contamination problem that then proceeded for miles downstream. We were able to show that by applying the cytosol and then spraying with the seawater, that we could recover at least 60% of the oil that had been trapped in the sediments. Cytoculture received a formal invitation from regulatory agencies in Japan to set up a demonstration of our cytosol process on the west coast of the main island of Honshu. In January of 97, there had been a really disastrous spill of a heavy crude oil off of a Russian tanker that broke up in heavy seas. The cytosol process was demonstrated on a small pilot scale for these agencies and actually for the media and government officials as a approach that might be suitable for future spills of that type. In Toro Canyon, which is down near Santa Barbara, we had an opportunity, again at the invitation of the California Department of Fish and Game, to respond to a spill involving a creek bed. It was actually a natural creek that had been heavily oiled by a nearby sump. There's an oil sump there that occasionally releases oil. We had the opportunity to do a demonstration. We've since repeated that demonstration using the cytosol biosolvent as a means of treating those oil shorelines and washing off the oil from the shore, from the creek beds, and collecting it for recycling. Avalo Beach is a lovely seaside resort along the central coast of California that also happens to be one of the largest marine terminals for petroleum discharge. It's one of those sites where for years there have been tank farms and pipelines along under the street that have been slowly seeping oil and other petroleum products deep into the sand that are just slowly migrating out towards the ocean. The most recent final version of the environmental impact report cites cytosol and a biosolving flooding technique as one of the plausible options as a so-called scenario alternative for the cleanup of that beach. 